surfer extraordinaire who also knows how to surf contests. You've seen his video parts, gigantic airs, big rail gouges. Then you got Mitch Cruz, who kind of a grinder. All the grommets get out of the water, looks like all the groms are out. Okay, the guys are getting out there in the channel. So two minutes till the start, just went 7.58 on my watch. So there you go, we just got the confirmation from our 10 seconds till the start, we're counting down. Heat number 18, heat one of the day in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, here we go. Adam Melling in the orange, Carlos Munoz in the white, David Docomo in the yellow, and Marco Fernandez in the black jersey, guys. Good luck, good waves out there. for making the effort to come down here and uh, for those that
back, stacking up. Carlos. example of having no priority and being under everybody. They are waiting and waiting and you try to manufacture a score. Melling trying to better a 5.77 on that way. And there it is. Here's White up, but I got to give Yellow his score as Munoz takes to the sky. DeCarmo, your previous wave, 6.5, your third. You only need 5.47. As Munoz finishes, just had to give DeCarmo the situation since Everyone's had all their nice. scores at that. Guys, we got a split of the peak. Here we go, yellow off the bottom. Nice layback gouge. And then bang, late hip up, late hit up over the section as Marco working on this forehand right here. Cuts back. And look at the finish big. Blows the tail. So right now, Carlos looking to replace a 5.97 on his backhand. Carlos looking at this little double up section right there, kind of in front of, but he makes it around. What's going to happen right here to the inside? Can he pull off some little match to look for the, uh, for the aerial routine? And another nice snap. So Carmo in the lead, Melling second. Munoz looking for a 6-5 and that last wave coming in. Looks like initial report's not going to be enough. 30 seconds. Here's a little paddle. Little double up inside corner, Munoz looking for the 6-5 up off the top. Finds that second section. Nice hack right there, and then late float. He can't bring it down. Valiant effort with 10 seconds. Looks like yellow and black split of the peak. No, nope, yellow is actually fading. And it's three, two, one. And the Carmo finishes. Pacquiao. 
Here we go, to the inside, picking up the scraps. Will this be a wave that will help them out? Wave number two. <laughs> representing the 2011 event. Our surfer in orange, Keanu Singh on his backhand. Orange board, orange singlet. Big throw tail yeah. surfer in white. Garrett Parks unleashes a nice move, rotation. He's still got some uh, wave to work with on his backhand. Here comes the powerhouse Keanu Singh. And, and it ends oh, up there. Yeah. Well, let's see what Wade Carmichael do. He was looking on his forehand. Besides going on his backhand. Very powerful surfer. And puts it on rail and throws a wall of water up. Here comes the tricky little inside section. And he gets a twofer right there. Those free surfing taking place at the same time. Carlos. I'm going to switch back to the peak. I love your uh, work. You know what, they're just one of the great ambassadors of sport. They represent a phenomenal country. As we take a look at a beautiful bottom turn, Keanu is saying, dig it deep and just wrap it in. Take a look at this surfer in black is just unleashing his fury down the line. That thing all of a sudden stands out and throws out. Now we know where the little bear was. Second priority. Keanu, third priority. Uh, Seconds on the clock. Well, the surfer with third priority showing some interest in this. Keanu Singh's third wave comes in at 6.20. That's what he's trying to replace on his backhand. The surfer out of Beva Beach now moving to uh, San Clemente. Doing a lot of traveling. Easier just traveling out of LA. And then we get black at third priority. Says, I'll go and try and better my 493. Nice vertical after the top. Drives around the corner. Nice power gouge right there. And looks down hard and kicks out of that. Oh my, white, and, just, and then black. Why not? Here we go. Parksy yeah, big old smashes hack. at the corner. Lapomar big car. Second half they back back for Parksy and Lapomar just sprayed up or set up. Down car. And then Mark finishing. He throws a lot of water. He's a power stripper. And then white going to finish on the inside. Yeah. Garrett, little lipper. Here we go. Split him up. Yanu on the backhand. Yeah. Nice hit vertical. Our Michael's wave kind of goes out to sea, as does Keanu. And this is a critical moment here. All he needs is a 6.28. Parks opened up with a beautiful wave here. That last 8.50 into the hunt. And a backside. Three, two, one. So I think this wave of yellow is counting. Next heat, we might be on a short hold. Next heat, small hold.
So here we go, Miguel Pupo gonna utilize the priority on his backhand and yellow on the forehand. Miguel around the corner, nice snap in the pocket and a nice car for Connor. And the boys simultaneous cutbacks right there. Pupo, big backside snap. And O'Leary to the inside, finishes, little tail drift. As Miguel Pupo's wave walling on the cobble point here, all the way to the inside. So he's feeling pretty good about that selection of wave. And a nice vertical finish. Well, there you go, a guy that has done some damage in the two or four and a half years on the world. And we've got it finally through that lull. That was that eight minute lull, Dave, we were talking about. Here's White gonna utilize the first priority on the backhand. Quick snap right yeah. there. Nice classy wall. Wave kind of softens up for him, so he's just kind of cutting back right here to the mid zone. But it looks like it's going to double up again on the inside as we've come to know here on this left at Trestles. Priority black now, first priority. As here comes the powerhouse, Garcia, on his backhand. And Sonny looking, a little tail slide, a little coping grind off the top, and that wave did not quite work out. Look at this wave out the back for our surfer in yellow. Long time company's got a 4.0 in his scoreline. That way's not working out, but the uh, sets, sets are marching through. Last of orange, 8.5. Miguel, 8.5. You're now in the lead. And he has a one as a backup. And then he goes, oh, well, I can better a one on this. Look at this thing, the bay. Uh, no, it's better of it. 4.0. Improve upon that. Frederico, Ordeas. He's got an 8.63 and a 4.47. He's your leader. Why fishing times kind of depend on the surf, but they're usually from 8 to 5. Our final day will be Saturday as we watch Pupo to the inside. And Pupo looking to... 3, 2, 1. Oh, my. Half a second after the horn, it looked like. I don't think it counts. Nope. After the horn. So Miguel did sneak the 2-9. Next heat, just a short hold. Let me get the okay. Good to go, here we go. From 10 seconds, 9-8. Lost out by point uh, three, three. And Miguel Pupo sneaks through with that final wave to the inside and gets a modest score. We've lost Sonny Garcia as well. And the athletes that unfortunately don't make it through, you can pick up your prize money. Over here in the water now, we've got orange Jeremy Flores, in the white Ian Gouveia, in the yellow Alex Ribeiro, and in the black Noah Igarashi. Checking in Italo Ferreira, William Cardoza, Goni Zuberzareta, and Perth Stanley, guys. Jeremy Flores is going to have a look. 
off the bottom. Smashes on the open wall. Gets his feet set. Yeah, he's in control right now. Two nice backside hooks. And finishing. Still cutting back on the inside. Yellow in second, orange in third, white with five, four, three, two, one. Noah jams it in the corner. Slashes on the open wall. Next E, we're going to be on a small hold. That's Canoa trying to work this to the inside. And big backside air rotator. And a snap, and bangs it off the lip, and a hit right there, and he likes it. So, wow, we're definitely gonna get the replay, dissect, break it down. Looking for a seven. Right now, Heat 22, Ferreira, Cardozo, Zubazaretta, and Stanley. And here we go, up and riding. Yellow, quick snap. Well, you go from the most lulled out Heat to what looks like some action. Look at this. Paddling, orange. Tallow. Nice drawn out rail turn. Comes off the bottom. Float climbing. Oh, oh no, outside edge catch. Still looking to battle it out with no priority, but having first choice or second choice, William Cardozo first Stanley. Take a look at this wave. And there we go. Tony Zubazaretta on his forehand. Surfer in yellow. And our surfer in white is the big panda, William Cardoso. Both tearing it up. Cardoso going to finish up there. Here we go, Black, Perth. Cardoso to the inside. Perth in the corner right there on that second section. I've got the results of the last seed in my hand. We'll get to those in just a second. Stanley finishing. Super nice. on the backhand. Willie Cardoso. He's already got that 8.23. Going to try to back it up. He is in the lead on just one way. And a little inside section. The tide dropping. This inside section stands up. A little red tide. And he would... Let's go into first Stanley. Stanley on this wave. And here comes the Sydney Sider, the 24-year-old to the inside. The one unleashing everything on that wave. And that is going to be a tough one. Yeah, huge second turn. And then his foot slip, it looked like. Here we go, yellow Goni. He draws a nice tail drift snap to start, late hit, and trying to get around to the open wall. Orange 5-5 five, five, now needs a 7.7. Seven, four, three, two, one. Next heat, it'll be 25 seconds till the start. Little party way for the last heat. Michael to the inside. 
nice finish off the top right there, putting that Mara through the motions. And tricky with the combo swell, but not wanting to look. Ramsey, nice right, pretty facey. Orange might look at the left. Up over for the float start. Swoops it down, drives off the bottom. And vertical finish. Side under left, see what he does on this one. Comes around the corner, quick carve. Snaps it right there, again, and finishing. Well, how about one more, why not? And this wave kind of bully with not too much corner. Orange in second priority is gonna go. Well, well, big rail gouge, and then, bang, tail drift up over. Well, not a lot of area, but two big hammers. Christy. Goes John De Silva up and riding, utilizing his first priority. This wave's kind of stacking, really walled up, but it looks like with a couple floaters and some speed, it's just one of those where he's just behind it, but now he's going to get to the open wall. Snaps it right there. And I'm looking to finish. Real clean style, John De Silva, and picks us lane, former top 10 of the World Tour, hails from uh, right there. Here we go, orange on the backhand. Like he's feeling a little more confident. Two nice first turns. Down the line, smooth gouge, throwing a little water out the back. Hammers one right there. He's just gonna go through the motions. And you know that last wave drop in. Catch away to lose priority. So here we go, black at third priority. John De Silva. Couple cutbacks. Nice little connection in the corner on that second cutty. Swoops a down carve there, and he's got a little section on the inside to keep working with this wave. Cuts it back, hits it off the top, and then a finish right there for De Silva. White. This thing's got a facey wall to it. Dumpy trying to better that five. Quick snap. Nice and aggressive over that little whitewash bubble that was there. Swoops it around, and again. And one more little whitewash climb for Gifty. Little Gromis down there looked up at me, got a little frothy. Here's Orange on the backhand, smashes it, swoops it down. Oh, Christy, feeling the love. Everybody loves surfing lowers, man. Every single person on the planet Earth loves lowers. Yeah, it's Christy to the inside. You can just see the excitement in the surfers. Great international field of competitors here as we watch our surf on the backhand and it's Ramsey. Del Dumpy, the first street rat coming in second. getting out of the way, appreciate it. Kelly Slater, up and riding in the orange jersey, coming around the corner. Nice drawn out rail turn. Cuts it back, rebounds it. He's got a little link up on the inside. So, carving it right there. And bringing it to the inside. Kicks out. Here is uh, Ryan Callanan. Here we go, off the bottom. Nice down carve on the rail. And gonna try and fit in that whitewash vert climb as that wave. Battle battle on the inside for this wave. <laughs> Here's White up and riding, drives off the bottom. Ooh, nice snap. Nice compact bottom turn. And a nice wrap there. So, you know, he's on the forehand. Cuts it back. You know, cuts it back. He's Northwest runner. Big first turn, and the wave is gonna allow him to float climb out on the open wall, carves it around into a 
reverse off the rebound, and then this thing's got this little highline Westwell runner, and Kelly loves this. Bang, slides the tail again backwards and has a sandwich riding backwards and a, a, a funky out to sea wave, but Kelly did some work on that. Let me he tell you. He read that second little secondary cover up and he saw that it was going to give another little section to it. Uh, you know, a guy that knows this wave so well. I mean, For the past 25 years, it has got a 10.0. Jack could get a 10.0, and the count back, obviously, would be that 10.0 ride. As we take a look at the goofy footer, Kellanan, wave number three. Boy, he stands on that tail and whips it around. Yeah, you know, we talked about him a little bit yesterday when I was talking about a legit, like, four handicap. Kelly, back He's shown some interest in this. Who has first priority? Our surfer in black. Does he want it? And yes, his yeah. first wave. So the left, not going to be much, but here's Jack. Carbs releases the fins. A little check back right there. And a tap float at the end for Jack Robinson's opener. Gina, Miguel Tudela, uh, Kalani David, and Leonardo Pio Robote. Exactly what Kalanen has done. So priority order is white and orange, and they're going to go ahead and split this peak. And simultaneous backhand smashes through the lift. Kelly doesn't like it. He's out of there. And Kalanen trying to replace a 6-8. He's going to stay on the grind here to the inside. Well, a uh, big result earlier this year at the Hurley Australian Open in Manly an equal third. Going down to uh, the runner-up and eventual runner-up, Taya Hikili out of French Polynesia. So Ryan Callanan with uh, a lot of tricks. Here's Kelly Slater. That's a vertical hit with quickness. Another nice move and into the uh, red tie. Full wrapping cutback with a rebound. And then bringing it to the inside as we see Black out the back. He hits it, blows the tail, comes undone. Slater finish. Follow them on Instagram. Here we go. Black having a look. Jack Robinson, quick float around the corner here. And he's got time. And the kid has so much talent. Here we go. Yellow has first priority and he's going to go on this one. Cruz. It's a nice jam through the lip. Comes around the corner, slashes it. And you saw on that. Over. Nah, it's got a weird double up in it, but Mitch is going to go. He hits it vertical. Cuts it back on the open wall. Slashes right there. Hits it vertical. And one more to finish. Slater can go later in the hot seat in second right now. Slater won. Yeah, Slater had a look, but he didn't use, he didn't paddle for that wave. He just made sure he was in a good position to where if he needed to go, he could. And he will use his priority right here, Dave. Here is Kelly Slater trying to replace a low score of a 5.93. And throwing some water up on this left, on his backhand. What can he do to the inside? Well, two really good turns to start. Some really good rhythm on that wave and a nice finish there for Slater. Black's got to go at some point. Here he is. Nice little backside hook. Snaps it right there. Drifts the fins with 30 seconds. camping and surfing, I was thinking of how I would beat you the next day if I saw you out in the lineup. When you were growing up, were there any, who were the people that you were thinking of beating? Oh, uh, well, 
when I was a kid, it was my friends, you know, and then, you know, it just grew bigger and bigger, and eventually it was Tom Curran, you know? Right on, um, yeah. And, uh, you know, and then at some point it sort of became guys around my age, and then it became guys younger than me, so. Right, right. And so, uh, the, uh, I saw you last year, the wave pool thing. I think your career is holding back my wave pool. Uh, really? when's, when's that coming? Yeah. <laughs> what, what <are> we... <laughs> Very soon. Right sooner on. than sooner than you think. Right which on. Which will be like. Don't look at this. Oh, no, this isn't your months. style. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Awesome. This is, uh, well, thanks a lot, Slater. Good luck in the Thank contest. You. Sonny Garcia, how's it going, Sonny? Um, I have a couple questions for you. First is, if Trestles had a backup location for the World Tour event, let's say, uh, what would that put in be and why? I would, I would say uppers. Uppers, yeah. Today was looking good, huh? Get some good of a wave. Probably better for all the regular footers because there's no lap over there. Right. So yeah. I think it would be good. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good one for sure. I like uppers. Um, your volunteer work, Mali, Mali, Malioli. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, tell me about a little bit about that and, and how that's going. We've been we've been taking kids with cystic fibrosis mainly, and then you know, any kids with, with any kind of genetic disease, surfing. You know, just trying to trying to you know introduce them to the water, and you know, I know we right. say bring you smiles, you know. Right, right. So, um, Give me a yeah, no, it's a good foundation. Love love working with them. I've been with them for about eight years now. Yeah. I'm actually flying to Hawaii tomorrow, and we're doing doing a Sunny Garcia one in, in Waikiki on Saturday. So you know, it's good. I love working with the kids, and you know, kids, you know right. you do anything for those kids. You know, bring bring just bring a smile on their face and get them get them you know not so stressed out, and even just sure. for a little bit of their life. It, it's pretty incredible. How, how did you get involved with that organization? Um, Kala and. Kala Alexander and my friend Dougie Kanaka were good friends with uh, James and Charlie okay. Dunlop. And okay. We got introduced, and you know, such such a good organization that that I you know. I yeah, it's good to see. Help out as much as I can. Yeah, it's good to see. I'm sure it does a lot for the kids. Yeah. And uh, sometimes I go down and check out the surfers healing events as well with yeah, the autism. Surfers healing is another good one. You know, yeah. Izzy, Izzy does insane work for his kids. Yeah, it's so. a beautiful thing for sure. So right on, uh, Sunny. Thanks a lot. And uh, thank you. Good seeing you. Take care.